He's a very remarkable guy. Hello, folks. Would you buy a used car from this man? You'll always do a good deal better at our used car department. Well, thousands of Montrealers did in the 60s and 70s. They bought new cars from him, too. One of the first car dealers to do his own television commercials, Harold Cummings became known as Uncle Harold to a generation of Montrealers. They even hummed the jingle promoting his dealership that dominated the corner of DeCarrie and Jean Talon for more than a quarter of a century. See Cummings, Harold Cummings, see Cummings for your Chevrolet. He was bold and brash, just like the Montreal of his generation. But Harold Cummings was much more than just a flashy car salesman. He was a good guy. Longtime friend Bob Bernstein remembers Harold and members of the Mount Royal Lodge of <laughs> B'nai B'rith bringing hockey players to the St. Justin Hospital at Christmas time. We'd go with uh, Polaroid cameras and take each one of these here hockey players, taking a picture with a kid in a bed and stuff like that and then we'd give the kid the picture. So not surprisingly, the Telethon of Stars was one of Harold's favorite charitable endeavors, both as a volunteer with the Inter-Service Club's council and a donor. This is going to make our future generations happier and healthier. He knows. He's been here for 20 years. Thank you, Great Claude. cost. Thank, Thank you, Harold. Harold. And he would often use his television commercials to raise money for worthy causes. Remember, folks, this week marks the annual appeal for the blind. If you drive a car, be especially generous. Bonsoir, mes amis, and happy Purim. Well, there goes Mr. Chevrolet. He's the biggest... He was always there, ready to be there. He was like a frustrated vaudevillian. He'd like to get up there and tell jokes and dance or sing or put anything at all to, not as a clown, but to enter, make the people happy. Go on, shake hands with everybody. So when I... I say it's like... You lose uh, a member of a family or something like that, but as friends, how you could call a friend. How many have you got? Bob Hope wrote to Harold in 1981, to me, you're just another bad dancer and a so-so comedian. Thankfully, those are qualities I look for in a friendship. <laughs>